In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to connect to data in Azure Data Lake Gen 2 for analysis in the pivot table. I'm going to swipe to my portal.azure.com and of course, I've got this Fabric Shortcut 101 storage account. So I'm going to come to Excel and in the data tab of the ribbon, I'm going to click on get data and I want to point to from Azure. And then I want to point to from Azure Data Lake Storage and Tool. Click on that. I'm required to provide my URL. Now I'm going to go back to my portal.azure.com and in this left panel, I'm going to scroll down to settings and I'm going to click on endpoint. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for Data Lake Storage. And of course, we need the primary endpoint that contains dfx.core.windows.net. And I'm going to click on this to copy to the clipboard, get back to Excel. I'm going to control V to paste and click OK. We're going to see this intermediate window. And of course, we've been able to successfully connect. So I'm going to click on transfer data. We want to focus on getting data in this GCP iPhone data.csv. So click on this filter button and then I want to filter out the source schema.json and then click OK. And then we're going to see the two files. So I'm going to come to this date modified and I want to get rid of one of them and then click OK. And then we have one file. So we can right click on the content and then we can remove all the columns. And then when I click on this space, I can see the binary file. And I'm going to click on this double arrows to combine the files. And we're going to see the combined files dialog box. So click OK. And voila, we have the data set in the Power Query. So you can see we have the date, product, payment type, unit, price, and the sales amount columns. So I'm going to click on Close and Load Tool. And they want to load to a pivot table report. So click OK. There we go. So we have the pivot table placeholder. And so we can analyze the data set. Let's want to see the payment type by sales amount. And there we go. So I can right click and I want to apply number format. And then I want to choose currency and then click OK. And then to see the meaningful name for the field, I'm going to click on this design. And then under the report layout, I want to sh choose show in tabular form. And there we go. You can even create a chart. I'm going to select the two columns, come to the insert, and then we can create a clustered column chart. Amazing. So we can switch back. I can see we have 1,782 rows loaded from our Azure Data Lake storage account. So I hope you did this video. If you do, give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now